What's up? So in the last couple of days I upgraded my old 2014 5K iMac and I bought the new Mac Studio. And because all my iMac accessories were a little bit older, I decided to get some new and fresh ones for my new Mac Studio. So that's why I bought the new Apple Magic Keyboard and the new Magic Mouse. But today it's all about the Magic Keyboard and a quick hint here, it's the better accessory. But first let's start with the unboxing and everything that you get if you spend around 200 euro is the Magic Keyboard in a really nice packaging including an awesome cable that you can use to charge the keyboard and yeah, that's it. So let's take a quick look at the cable and we can clearly see that it's not a cheap one. I really like the black design and it got the soft layer that protects the cable, so I would say well done Apple. But in the end, if you spend a lot of money for such a product, it shouldn't be a surprise that they include a decent cable to charge it. And since it's Apple, the design should be top notch in most cases. But yeah, in contrast to all kind of other charging cables, you actually get a really nice one in this package. And yes, I will use these here all the time in combination with a Mac Studio. And now it's time to take a look at the all new 2022 black and silver Magic Keyboard. And I definitely need to say that it's just beautiful. I really like the overall design and those colors are just awesome and especially in combination with my black mouse pad and the new black magic mouse, it just looks great. The complete keyboard is super minimalistic and there's everything that you need to get work done. It's not too big and not too small and especially the weight is great so you can accidentally move the keyboard around while typing. On top, the newest addition for me is the Touch ID button right here, which works absolutely fine. I personally use it all the time now and it's super fast. You just need to tap it quickly and you're locked in and this is just fantastic. And yes, of course, typing on the keyboard is always great. If you like Apple keyboards from those iMacs, for example, you will like this one here as well. First, I thought the smaller white version might be better, but in the end, I definitely need to say that I'm really happy that I bought this one here. If we quickly switch to the front side of the keyboard, you can see three things. The first one is the on-off switch, the second one is the antenna, and last but not least, to charge the keyboard, you can connect the cable right here. So yeah, you can easily charge and use the keyboard without having any problems at all, and that is, in my opinion, really important. But what I don't really like is that there is no background light. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem to include that as well, and that would be a great feature for sure. But yeah, it's not a huge deal breaker for me, but I mean, if you spend around 200 euro for a keyboard, it's hard to explain why they didn't include something like that, because it's always great to have that, especially if you work in the evening or at night. The solution is in this case such a nice desk lamp like this one here. It's perfect, especially if you need additional light while working. And no, this is not sponsored by the way. This is just a quick tip here. So yeah, the final question is, is it worth it to spend around 200 euro for this keyboard? Well, I bought it while it was on sale, so I saved a couple of bucks, and I highly recommend to only buy it on sale. And obviously, you could get a different keyboard way cheaper, but in my opinion, the size, design, workflow, and the touch ID is actually worth it. And since I don't buy a new keyboard every two weeks, it's in my opinion okay to spend some more money for this keyboard. And yes, as an example, I used my last Apple keyboard for around eight years, and that's a long period of time. On top, I really like the fact that it's rechargeable, so now I don't need to change these batteries all the time. I can easily connect the cable and that's it. But yeah, for sure, some other keyboards have these features as well. But for me personally, it's a great new upgrade to my old Magic Keyboard and because I want to use it for a long period of time, I decided to go with this one right here. But in contrast to that, if you like to use a variety of keyboards or if you don't want to use Touch ID at all, it might be better to buy a different version because it's way cheaper. So yeah, these are my thoughts about the 2022 Apple Magic Keyboard. So. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.